welcome back to the channel. Today I'm so excited because I have my first Spirit Halloween haul of the season. It literally feels like I've been waiting so freaking long for this. And when I was at Spirit Halloween, I thought that it had like not just opened, but wasn't more than like a week old. The guy said they opened like two or three weeks ago. So I'm really mad because who knows what already got picked through. You never know, but it was already, it was pretty well stocked, I will say. But yeah, also sorry my voice sounds like this. I've explained it in like eight other videos, so I'm not gonna explain it again, but just ignore it, it's fine. Uh, let's get into this Spirit Halloween haul. So my number one priority with Halloween money spending this year is my front yard because I have never had a yard to decorate before. So I want to make it awesome. And I also wanna make it really obvious which yard is mine. Okay, so like I said, Priority is the front yard. So first up, I had to get these pumpkin fence posts, okay? So the whole thing is that obviously, not obviously, if you didn't know, I bought the 13 foot Jack Skellington animatronic from Home Depot this year and I am absolutely obsessed with him and I really want to do kind of like a Jack's Lament scene pumpkin graveyard situation in like the right hand side of my front yard and so these actually look so similar to me to the pumpkin king head that jack wears at the beginning and if you've seen nightmare before christmas there's a part in the very beginning during this is halloween when like pumpkins come and smash on fence posts and like this looks so much like that so they're kind of like a bronze color as you can see i think that we're gonna spray paint them black um I'm not gonna commit to doing that quite yet. I'm probably gonna put them up and see how I like them because I did have another thing I was gonna spray paint black last year and now I'm thankful that I didn't. So I think I'm gonna put these up, see how I feel about them, and then if I think that they need to be black, then I'll spray paint them black. But I'm so excited. So each set comes with three fence posts and they are $29.99 each, so about $10 per post. And I got two packs to start because I want these to go all across like the very kind of front of my yard, which I think will look really, really sick. So, yeah. I also, to go along with the pumpkin graveyard theme, got two packs of these four-piece jack-o'-lantern pathway markers. They do light up and make noise. Spooky. Um, and I thought that they were also really good again for like that kind of pumpkin graveyard theme. They're very like scarier jack-o'-lanterns. They're kind of like aged and weathered. Um, so I really, really like these and I can't wait to put these up also. <laughs> okay, what's next? Then I have just a little bag of stuff, not too much, didn't go too crazy. I did have a budget that I didn't want to go over while I was there. The one thing that I didn't buy that I've had my eye on for a minute is the Beetlejuice marquee sign. I'll try and put, put, put a picture here. And I really want to get that for my Beetlejuice bathroom, but it is like $50. And for some reason it's like really just, that seems really expensive to me because it's also like plastic and I don't know. I need to, well, to be fair, I mean, this is like three pieces of plastic for 30, so I guess, and that lights up at least. I don't know. I just, $50 was hard for me to spend today, so I didn't, but um, I did get a couple other things for my Beetlejuice bathroom. I got this little tray, which obviously says Beetlejuice on it, and I want to set this on the back of the toilet, and then I can put like soap and like a roll of toilet paper or something on here, and that will look really cute. They also had this really cool like little, like, it had like this sandworm kind of black and white striped tentacle looking things on like a purple dish. And I really wanted to get that to put beside the sink to like put like a soap dispenser on. But it was like $30 for just like a tiny little like canister type thing. And I was like, that was not worth it. Um, but I did get, um, oh my gosh, I just forgot her name. Okay, so I got Miss Argentina <laughs> and she's just gonna go on one of the shelves behind the toilet um, because she's so cute. And she also lights up, which you can't really tell because, oh geez, I'm gonna break her. Has she been on this whole time? I think I ruined the battery because I accidentally, oh no. Now she's on. Okay, it's really hard to tell because it's just bright in here, but I got her, she's gonna go on the toilet and she's gonna look gorgeous. 
So I don't know why I haven't bought this shirt yet because I've literally wanted it for I'm not kidding you years and today Zoe and I finally got matching ones and we're gonna look so cute in our Easy Bake Coven shirts. Y'all, I have had my eye on this shirt, like I said, for literally years, like so freaking long and I never purchased it. And so when I saw it there at Spirit Halloween today, I was like, I'm not leaving without her again. I'm getting her, she's coming home with me, it is time. So I finally got the Easy Bake Coven shirt and I'm very excited about it. All right, two very small things left. Wait, oh no, there's a whole other bag. Oh, this is Zoe's stuff. Maybe I'll show that to you guys too, just so you can see it. I mean, it's too crazy. <coughs> All right, next up, first, Zoe and I got matching uh, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th nails. This video is chaos, I'm so sorry. And I'm so excited because if you didn't know, there is a Friday the 13th in October this year and I plan to have the spookiest freaking day ever and vlog all of it for you guys. And on the spookiest day ever, that is Friday the 13th, we have to have Friday the 13th fake nails. So I will definitely be putting these on on Friday the 13th and I cannot freaking wait. They're gonna be so cute. They've got Jason's mask, they've got blood dripping down them, they've got red and black, they say Friday the 13th, so a uh, freaking adorable and I can't wait. Okay, last thing that I got, I forgot to tell y'all prices. Miss Argentina was $16.99. These, $6.99. Um, oh, this is not the last thing I got. Oh my gosh, this is why I don't film videos at the end of the day. Jeez, okay. Second to last thing that I got, I got the um, how to, how to, handbook for the recently deceased book. And I actually, what I wanna do is I wanna put this in the bathroom at the Halloween party and basically make it like a guest book for the Halloween party that I can keep year over year, which I think would be so fun to fill this, fill this up with like years of Halloween parties and guest books and people writing in it. I just think it's too perfect for that. And it goes in the Beetlejuice bathroom where people already like one spend time and two people already put guest books in bathrooms. So it's perfect. All right, last thing I got from Spirit Halloween, I got the red fire and ice LED spotlight because I really need a spotlight on Jack. And for some reason, like a red orangey tone to light him up was calling my name. I'm definitely gonna have to put it up and see if it has the effect that I'm hoping that it has. And if it doesn't, I'll just use this somewhere else. Um, this was $29.99, which I feel like is kind of expensive, I don't know, but maybe that's just, maybe I'm just cheap. It has this really cool like red and orange and yellow, kind of like flamey look. I mean, it literally says fire and ice, but I'm just like really excited to see how this actually looks on Jack himself, because I think it will be really cool. So, first of all, Zoe got a matching shirt. I'm including her stuff in my haul, because I can. And then she got, also got Friday the 13th nails, but they're actually a little bit different, which is really cool. They've got, also got the Jason mask, and they've got red and white, like, blood, like, swipes, and then black nails with, ru with red blood dripping down, and then it says F13 on, in black on red nails. Oh, what does it say on this one? Oh, it says Jason lives, LOL. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed watching the first ever Spirit Halloween, haul of this season make sure you give this video a like hit that red subscribe button down below to come hang out with me every single day until halloween night i'm uploading september 1st to october 31st that's 61 days of halloween all for you so if you're a spooky pal make sure you subscribe and hang out with me for the rest of this spooky season and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye